Hello developers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to continue my mini-series with logos and I'm doing the VGS logo with some animation. I will leave the code uh, in the description box. Uh, you can download it via CodePen or in GitHub. So I have a class named Box and I have predefined this class. I will leave the red border for now but in the end I'm going to comment it. And I'm only using four colors, black and white and an outer and inner color. You don't have to use a CSS, a CSS sorry, maybe you want to use plain uh, CSS and that's okay. You can do the same things for now. Inside the class box, I'm going to have three IDs. An outer, an inner, and last but not least, sorry, <coughs> a white one. Um, I decided to use IDs and not class this time because I'm sure that I'm going to use this only once. And the class you can use it many times, but an ID you can use it only one, only once. And I know this time that I want to use this only once. So inside the SCSS, I'm going to start writing my IDs. The first one is the outer one. My position is going to be absolute. Then I want top 20%, left uh, maybe 27% is going to be okay. And of course some uh, width and height. <coughs> the background color here is outer. Maybe you don't see the outer because I haven't uh, defined my shape yet. But you are going to see it. As for the shape, I'm going to use the Clippy tool. I will also leave uh, the Clippy tool in the description box so you can find uh, the link for it. And uh, this is a tool that helps you make some shapes in CSS which is quite easier than doing it by yourself. I'm using the triangle and I'm just going to copy and paste uh, my coordinates and then in the outer ID I'm going just to paste them. So now we are ready for our first ID. I just have to add uh, the animation and the name of our function is going to be out. It's going to be for 3 seconds and just one time. I'm going to continue with the inner ID. And uh, if you want more details about uh, the animations and the functions um, maybe you could leave me a comment and I could do another video explain them a little bit more because now I'm not going to be I'm not going to go in depth with the functions. As for the ID, pretty much here um, everything is the same. I'm just going to adjust my top left width and height properties and of course the color here is the inner one. But you don't have to change um, the clip tool properties. Alright, and now I'm going to continue with my last ID, which is the white one. Uh, the color here, of course, is white. And then I have to change my animation, the name of the animation, which is going to be white. Alright. And now I think we're better. Great. So let's start writing our animations. I'm going to have three different ones. An outer and inner and wide one. First you have to start writing add keyframes and then the name of the function. In my case the name of the function is out and I'm going to have it in three places or in three times 0%, 50% and 100% you can get some more details like 0, 20, 50, 70 and 8, 100% but I think that this is enough for now the first thing I'm going to do is to have it transform and I'm going to have a rotation only in the X for zero degrees 
and then for 180 degrees and finally for a whole, a whole circle or 360 degrees. My next class, sorry my next function in is going to be pretty much the same. The only difference is that I'm going to have minus in 50 and 100 percent. And last but not least I'm going to have the white function and this time is plain 13060. So that's it guys. Just uncomment now the red border and you are ready. This is the Vue GS animation and I hope you did like it. Thank you guys for watching and please share and subscribe.